I seem to have arrived with a need to make pictures that are quiet and quite silent, um, a little ill at ease, quite melancholic. I've always looked for that. Those are the words of photographer Nadav Kander about his project, Yangtze, The Long River. I love the solitude of this project as he examines both natural and man-made spaces and looks at the pace of change along the Yangtze River in China. I would get up before dawn and walk or drive until the atmosphere just wouldn't be right or it might be and when it is then I would take my plate camera and expose some film. After two or three trips that I made, I started really understanding that I was stepping back. I was feeling an outsider and people were becoming smaller and smaller in the frame. While Yangtze may be his most ambitious project, Kander is more widely known for his portrait work. His portraits allow a lot of space for his subjects to come as they are. He's very careful not to influence or guide them and just allow them to be. And I find that that draws me in a lot more. There's not a message or a theme or a storyline to his images. They just are. And that makes me want to sit with them and just be in their presence. I don't know where it comes from and I'm not sure, I'm not sure I really want to know where it actually comes from. But my God, I know it when I see it. Kander has also traveled extensively through the United States. I love how the people are small in such large spaces. Often they barely occupy the frame. I also identify with Kander's approach that the photographer inevitably leaves their own mark and cannot be completely removed from their photos. When you work from a place in your gut rather than from my head, from a place of feeling rather than thought, there is so much of the person behind the camera in the pictures 